You want to do a taper? Anything off the top? With the grain? I'll trim it a little bit. So as you can see, I'm not in my usual space. This was actually taken at the 2024 CT Barber Expo. And I'm cutting at the Barber Plugs booth. Um, we were kind of like in the middle. And yeah, so I found a model. I asked him if he wanted to cut. And we about to save him. We're going to fix his hair on him. Thanks, bro. Recording? Yeah. I'm sorry. I just want to take the time out to interrupt this video. I don't know if they're going to make the cut, but I'm in here. I supplied them with hairspray and barbershop. And as you can see, my boy Wavy K Kev just video bombed us, but it's all good. <laughs> I asked him for some cool care. He had to, you know, he hooked me up. I don't really bring all my tools to a show. I'll just bring like some. Cause I, I know someone's gonna have all the extra stuff and I'm, I'm not, I'm not gonna take the time out of my day to overpack all my stuff, but. And we're doing the Los method on the taper area just to be safe. If you guys wanna know what that is, sign up for our program. It's a community-based program where we teach how to cut, create, and scale. Me, uh, David Escamilla, and Los Cuts. And this is a very hard texture to cut. You think it's easy, but it's very hard. It's very silky, soft, very sensitive, I'd say. You gotta be you gotta be very careful. It's very it's a sensitive hair texture, so one wrong move and you're cooked. So just be very careful. And I'm not a big fan of barber shows, honestly. Uh, I'm just not, never have been. But if I could come out, make some content and network, I'm all for it. And another thing at these shows, it's like hot, sweaty, you're sweating, your client's sweating. So obviously you can't get the best cut possible. And then, you know, the lighting situation is not the best lighting, but it's kind of you just cut just to do it. You know what I'm saying? And there wasn't much to trim. I could tell he just kind of started his wave journey, so I didn't want to trim too much because it's just going to mess up his progress. So I pretty much just kept the top how it was, trimmed his edges so he can get a nice lineup. Now it may look like it's too short, but just, just, just let me cook. Trust me because he had bangs, right? I don't recommend bangs as a waiver. Just get them trimmed. You could still have them, but just get them trimmed. 
So I'm gonna start in the middle, work my way to the right. Got my boy Rios in the back. Now the back of his hair right here was very, very light. I didn't want to dig in too much. This side was a bit more dense, a lot more room to work with. I did get a chance to chop it up uh, with some good friends of mine, uh, you know, just in the industry, Chris Basio, Get Beamed, Sly Huncho. He, he's actually at the end of this video. Wavy Kid, Kev, my guys over at Slicker. But my plans for next year, I'm gonna be here with my own booth for the hair product. So if you guys aren't following my journey on Instagram, I'm creating a hair product line from scratch, completely from scratch. And I'm gonna teach you guys how I'm gonna market it, branding, everything. And it costs money, right? You can't do everything by yourself. You need a team, you need money, you need funds. And now I'm gonna freehand trim the top. Just since we didn't really trim it at all, I wanted to take at least the loose hairs off to make it look neat. Then I'm gonna use my Easy Bleed shaving razor. That Sly Huncho comes out the blue, and then he hits him with a spice ball with a spice level of 3,000, and he's feeling it. It's burning. And I hit him again with another spice ball. He's getting spiced the f up. <laughs> My guy Sly, man. So that was the before, and this is the after. I noticed his hairline was a low key, a little off on the left side, so I went back right here. 
and kind of touched up both sides. Um, I, I just I just get picky with stuff like that. And that's the cut. It's your boy Four and I'm out. Peace. Yeah.